Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to do um, how to keep up with like your hygiene. Um, lately, I've just been super into hygiene and like all the products that I need to use. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos um, and I feel like lately I've been getting down to it. So yeah, I have this whole freaking bag right here full of items that I recommend you guys to try. Um, if you guys want to be like more updated on like your hygiene and stuff and like what you need to do, what you shouldn't use. Um, so, yeah, if you guys are interested in any of that stuff, just keep on watching. Okay, let's go ahead and get started because it looks like this bag is full. So I'm just gonna start with whatever is on top. First things first is body lotion. I recommend you guys um, use body lotion at least twice a day. Um, just to keep your skin really moisturized, hydrated, make sure that there's no light. To make sure it's hydrated, moisturized, and all that stuff. And to, uh, to me, I've been using Bath & Body Works parts for a really long time. Um, but I will be adventuring out more towards different lotions and stuff like that. Because these get pretty pricey. I mean, just for one little bottle like this, it's $12.50. Honestly, I really like this stuff because I feel like it does the job. It definitely keeps me from smelling like onion all day and we all know that we've been there once in our lifetime where we forget to put um you know deodorant or we have the deodorant that's completely wrong for a body type and that's something that i really want to express is that you guys need to find products that works for your body type not let's say like i'm showing you guys all these products and some of you guys try it and you're like mm, it didn't really do anything for me this is not you know she whatever she's saying is a lie it's not that each person has a different body type, different skin, different, you know, whatever, right? And for maybe another 10% of people are going to be like, oh, yeah, like, it works for me. I loved it. So definitely explore a lot with your options. Don't just be like, oh, it didn't work. Like, I'm not doing this no more. Like, you know. This definitely works for me. The other one that works for me is the Secret Gel um, Deodorant. Those, those two are my top feet. I have is my, um, what is it called? Shaving cream. Um, I really recommend a shaving cream that at least has some type of vitamin and some type of moisture. So this one says moisturizing, moisturizing slash um, um, hydrant with vitamin E in it. And I think this brand is really inexpensive. Um, I don't remember, um, but I like how it works. It literally leaves my skin feeling really soft afterwards as well. I feel like I'm not going to get any razor burns or cut myself with this stuff. It's very smooth and, you know, moisturizing and stuff like that. I recommend using either Dial Antibacterial or the Dove White Bar. The only reason why I'm saying um, unscented stuff uh, is because if you're going to be using the bar of soap and you're going to be washing your body and stuff, or for me, I mostly use uh, the bar of soap to wash down there. And the only reason why you want to use unscented products is because you don't want to um, put any type of fragrance down there. It's really bad. It messes with your pH levels, and it's just not good. You don't you don't want to put fragrance where it's not supposed to be at. So, and definitely don't recommend sticking the bar of soap like in here, like getting on into crevices. All you need to do is clean on the sides and get a cup of hot, warm, not hot, warm, <laughs> uh, um, lukewarm water, and just rinse down there. And let the soap just fall into the creases on its own i definitely don't recommend like shoving like things in there because that's where everything goes wrong you guys can get like an infection and stuff like that so definitely don't recommend that but definitely recommend um either of those two bar of soaps um i recommend using the baby wipes to clean them there just because it definitely makes you feel more clean more fresh um whereas like if you use like regular toilet paper you get like crumbs left behind it's just like you the uncertainty like if you're cleaning correct or not like and then you use a lot of them up i feel like baby wipes or just wipes in general work a lot better um it's a lot more sanitary in my opinion it cleans everything up and there's no residue left behind of anything so definitely would recommend these and they're really inexpensive you can also get them from dollar tree the only thing i do recommend is that they're unscented because like i said if they're scented they're fragrance whatever it is it's not good for down there more lenient on my body washes i do really like body washes for some reason um, these are the, well, I love body washes, um, but the first one that I um, recommend is the Avino one. This is the one I use. This is um, smoothing, hydrating, gentle on the skin, hypermobile, dye-free, and soap-free, which is something that I really look forward to in a body wash, and it also has a really strong scent, um, and it's perfect for people with sensitive skin. Even if you don't have sensitive skin, you definitely don't want to put such harsh 
products on your skin, definitely don't recommend that because, you know, there's no point in you doing all this extra stuff, all these steps, if you're just going to be doing a harmful, if you're just going to be using a harmful product on your skin. So definitely recommend this. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but I recommend it. It smells really good and, um, you know, it does what's supposed to. Next thing that I would recommend is this Olay In Shower Body Lotion. This is an ultra moisture she butter after cleansing smooth on and rinse off. So I really like this stuff. It's basically a body lotion that you guys can use in the shower. This is not like something you have to do. It's just an extra step that I take um, in order for my skin to be be sure that it gets its moisture like in the shower. And then once I step out the shower, I put more cream on. Um, I like it when I like to use this like after I use my body wash I kind of just go ahead and put like this all over my body and all that other stuff and it does a really good job it keeps my skin feeling really smooth even after I get out of the shower and I don't really have to worry um like if I forget to put like body lotion and stuff like that afterwards I feel like I would be fine because I use that um in the shower I like to use this product. You guys heard me talk about it way too much on my skincare favorites. So if you guys want to see a little bit more information about this, just go to my skincare product favorites. And yeah, if you guys don't want to be purchasing like such expensive body washes. Um, another alternative that you guys have is using baby wash. This is the lightly scented one, and I really I really like these. I feel like they're simple. They're easy to find. You guys can get these at Dollar Tree. They're really inexpensive. For a dollar, it's great. It does the job. Um, obviously, I feel like it does um, dry your skin a little bit more just because this is not a moisturizing type of body wash, but it does the job. And if you were to use like the body lotion and shower body lotion, I feel like you guys would be fine. But definitely, um, if you guys are not going to be using the body, the in shower body lotion, definitely moisturize afterwards because it does dry your skin a little bit. Um, so I don't use this that much. I use it like when I'm in a little pinch or a little crunch or if I'm like, you know, don't have enough money to purchase like my other products, definitely go purchase this. No no harm, no foul, you know, everything um, has its own purpose and if you guys don't have enough money, don't feel like shameful, don't feel discouraged that, oh, I can't afford the, like, the high-end products. We've all been there. Don't be ashamed. Go ahead and go to Dollar Tree and buy this with pride. My shampoo, I'm currently looking for a new shampoo. I don't really like the one I'm using. I feel like it just dries out my skin way too much. So if you guys have any recommendations, leave it in the comments down below. Wow, you guys, I feel like I was like, oh, oh. I feel like I was like a chicken for a cool minute. Oh my god, I need to breathe. Okay, so this is the Enjoy Conditioner. Now, I know this conditioner is really expensive from what I hear, but I feel like for me that I have colored hair, I feel like I have to take another extra step to make sure it has its moisture because I stripped it of that. My own self, I did that to my own hair. So it definitely is a lot more damaged than other people who haven't dyed their hair. So that's why I use a little bit more of an expensive um, like product that's like a lot more hydrating and stuff like that. I really like it because it's for colored hair. And also if you go like in the shower and you're like brushing and if you got you if you go in the shower and you forget to brush your hair this is a really good product because it helps detangle and it doesn't, um, and it softens it so much. Like I showered my, I took a shower yesterday and my hair feels super, super soft and I love it. So I really recommend this product. I think they have, um, other conditioners that aren't for people who have like colored hair, but you know, if you guys are willing to, um, pay a little extra for conditioner, then so be it. Um, and I think, oh, the last thing that, I forgot. I don't know where I left it. Um, the last thing that I want to mention is sunscreen. I think that everybody should be using sunscreen just to put it on your face, on your shoulders, anywhere where the sun hits you the most, especially during the summer, like your shoulders and your face, um, because it helps prevent like wrinkles. It helps prevent like dark circles and, um, oh no, dark, dark circles, dark spots. And also, um, like, it just protects you from the harmful UV light. So I really recommend that as well. Um, and last thing for sure is I recommend either using or if you're going to be doing all of this stuff, you definitely want to be eating good. And you want to work out a couple days, um, a couple times or 30 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it is. At least try to work out once a day. That's what I do. I do a morning workout or if I feel a little bit like unmotivated, I'll do it more towards the nighttime. 
Um, also drink a lot of water. It's an important thing. I try to drink up to four water bottles a day. It's a new thing that I just started doing. So right now I'm at four bottles a day. Tomorrow I'm going to try to drink five bottles a day. But I definitely recommend buying one of these because I know uh, like water bottles are just not cute. They you, you have to carry it everywhere. And I don't know. I feel like this is a lot more cuter. I feel like I gravitate it towards more. I feel like I gravitate it. I get gravitated more towards this than just like a regular water bottle so if you're one of those people like me definitely recommend buying one of these and they're really inexpensive I think I bought mine for 15 bucks at Marshall's definitely recommend checking it out um yeah that is everything that I wanted to mention and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys have any recommendations for me to try for anything else definitely leave it in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell button to get notified every single time i post up a new video i don't know i don't even know what that was okay you guys so yeah i'll see you guys later and yeah bye guys